What was the freedom train, and how did it reflect the political and social concerns of the time? The freedom train was a, a sort of patriotic endeavor, uh, originally organized by the government, and then later given over to a private foundation, the American Heritage Foundation. It was launched in 1947, and it consisted of 133 famous documents of American history, the Gettysburg Address, the Declaration of Independence, and things like that. And they traveled by train all over the country for about a year and a half and were visited, was visited by millions of people who wanted to see these documents and there were all sorts of public events associated with it. Um, and the Freedom Train represented popular belief in freedom and a popular identification in the immediate aftermath of World War II with the ideal of freedom. It also kind of inadvertently revealed some of the tensions in the idea of freedom. When it got to the South, the question was, would blacks and whites be able to board the freedom train together, or would there be segregated viewing? And the Truman administration said, no, there has to be integrated, we, we will not distinguish between citizens getting on the freedom train. And in fact, the freedom train canceled its visits to Memphis and Birmingham in the South because the city fathers insisted that the viewing had to be segregated. But it went to many other cities in the South without protest. Uh, in an integrated fashion. So it sort of illustrated the growing salience of the issue of race in American life after World War II. Um, it also showed, as it went along, how the Cold War, which was just developing at this time, was reshaping ideas of freedom, because increasingly the government became suspicious of people who criticized the freedom train and began to think they were enemy agents or subversives or something like that. And um, it showed how this kind of fear of external uh, subversion was beginning to make its uh, appearance in America in the early uh, days of the Cold War.